Welcome. This is your beginner's guide on how to use Facebook Creator Studio. If you type in your browser facebook.com slash creative studio, you're going to get into this home page. And on the top side, uh, top of the bar, you can change between your Facebook and your Instagram account. Now the Instagram going to change the color so it's easy to be aware which platform you are working on. So why would you use the Creative Studio and not any other uh, scheduling um, software? So basically Facebook and Facebook algorithm doesn't like you to use any third party uh, application or software to schedule your posts. If you use any other tool, the, uh, Facebook will limit your reach. So it's always good to use uh, every tool that Facebook provides you with. Unfortunately, by using Creative Studio, I think you can only schedule six weeks ahead and you can only schedule posts for your Facebook business pages or your Instagram account. However, an extra feature that uh, you can repost or create a new post from your old videos, uh, the way that you're going to keep all your interactions, your comments, your likes, your shares, everything. So eventually, if you repost the same post over and over and over again, like every three months or so, you're going to grow that post to become viral. So uh, on the left side, you have a menu and you can create posts in multiple ways. There's one place you can create a simple post, a story, a video or go live. Uh, also, if you press this button, you will have lots of options. You can create a post, create post test. I don't know what's that, I never tried. Add the story, upload video, upload multiple videos, go live or post video across pages, which means you will share it on every page what you want. Now, first I'd like to show you how to use your old videos because that's the most powerful tool what you have in the creative studio so to do that you need to press the content library which will give you an overview of all the posts that you have in your page and uh, on a computer, you will see all the details properly, but I'm using a phone, so I need to scroll across. In, in this section, uh, you are going to see the details of the videos, and this section, you're going to see all the, all the posts that you have. Now, to use this uh, reposting tool, you, you need to go in the top, in the filter section and choose the videos only because this thing only work with videos and i like you to find the distribution section which will tell you if this post work worked well or not now as i'm scrolling down you can see is an average 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 higher than average. You need to find posts that are higher than average. Let me just find the one what I wanted to use. Here it is. Once you find the video that you want to use, you need to click on the video. Now my uh, Facebook has changed, so you might not see it exactly the same way. But what you're looking for is on the bottom, either on the bottom of the screen, you will have a button saying create a new post with this video. 
or if you are looking at the same layout as I do then you're going to need to use this plus button once you press the plus button it say new post with video and then you can create a totally new post you can add the new title you can change the description uh, you can add tags and once you're ready you can either post this by pressing next okay it's not let me press the text let's just say test you must have a title when i press next it will ask me if i want to publish now schedule backdate save as a draft there i will save it as a draft and then you can choose where it will appear like a news feed or allow embedding or embed embedding or not um, you can turn off reactions comments and shares which i wouldn't recommend you to do and then save as draft now this is one way to use creative studio the other one if you go back and you want to create a new post then you will have an option of where you want to post to and then you can just create the post and once you finished with your post it will give you also a view on how it look like again you can uh, schedule or publish however you like uh, in here in the left side you can see your insights as well you can see your inbox where you can um, not just uh, going to see your messages you will also see your comments so you can answer all your comments and messages in one place and you will going to find the instagram messages inside this in post as in inbox as well for some reason now it's on so now i can see all my messages i don't know why it was off for what reason but anyway it's on now and then in here you can change whether you're watching your main messages down messages or spam not sure where the comments gone though it's hard to find everything in this uh, phone application though so if we go to instagram and you press the create create post it will ask you if you want to an instagram feed or an igtv so you can also create posts for your IGTV from here and schedule them. Let's see if we have the same. It doesn't give you the same uh, inside of the post than what you have on Facebook. Let me see what's on IGTV. Mm. 
okay and instagram you can't create a new post from your own post old post so basically you have a calendar as well so you can see uh, what your scheduled posts are or when did you post anything that's it what you need to know and i hope this was useful for you and so that's it for now and thank you for watching and i hope this was useful for you and you will be able to use your old content and to create new ones and schedule them ahead of time in creative studio now i'm going to see you in another training